Hi, it's Scarf Girl here again. I hope you've watched my introduction video so you know what I'm doing. But basically, this is going to be the second part, aside for the introduction, of my scarf wearing tutorial. And this is going to be the ones that are a bit more easy to tie. So I have some scarves down here that I'm going to start with. And a lot of the ones I'm going to do for this one are vintage scarves from my great-grandmother. Some of them are silk scarves. They're all really light and airy. So um, I'm kind of going to be showcasing my scarves, and I have little names for all of them. And so I have names for the scarves, and then I have names for the styles. So I'm going to kind of describe it. And if you, you can tell that if you have a scarf that is a similar shape or a similar size, that you could tie it, you know, that you could wear it the way that I'm showing you. Um, or even if you have a square scarf but you need a long scarf, you can just roll it up and make it into a long scarf and then, you know, style it like that. But anyways, you'll see what I'm going to be doing. And these are not rehearsed at all because I rehearsed the introduction video and I got tired of hearing myself say the same things over and over again. So just bear with me. Alright, so this first look I'm going to show you is called the Retro. I actually came up with this on my own. So this is a vintage scarf from my, my great-grandmother. It's got orange and red stripes. And it's got, it's got a little bit of wear and tear. But it's not, it's not too bad. Alright, so <coughs> what I'm doing is I'm going to uh, fold this at the diagonal and throw it over my shoulders. And then I'm going to put it to this side, and I'm going to make a really simple tie. You can go over, or you can go under, whichever one you prefer. Tie, and tighten it. Okay. And then so it looks a little less like popping out like that, you might want to make another knot and tie it like that. So then, you wear it to the side like that. It's still kind of popping, and I think it's kind of um, it's a little more bold to wear it like that. Um, and you can leave the the corner here, or you can tuck it in, which is what I like to do. So it's just tucked. And it's a retro scarf. It's so pretty. All right. This next one is called the Bandit, and I also came up with this one. So maybe I'm a little more creative than I thought it was. Um, so this is also a vintage scarf from my grandmother. It's very see-through, very light and silky. So this one I'm just folding at the diagonal again. But I'm not going to put it over my shoulder. I'm going to put it in the front and. I'm going to just put it right there so you can, you can tie it in the back and make another tie so it stays in place. And then I like to make it poofy in the front. So you can wear it like this, put it a little bit lower, or like it's the bandit, so you can go like this. Stick them up. Bandit. Okay. This next one, this should actually be in the super easy category. This is called a classic drape. This is my bluebirds. Nope, that's the wrong square. Well, they're together. This is my bluebird scarf. See, those are the birds. Maybe they're like chickens or bluebirds. I don't know. Whatever. This is not vintage, this is from H&M. Okay, so this one's a classic drape. This one's super, super easy. So I'm folding it at the diagonal. And then over my shoulders. <clears throat> and I'm gonna stand up so you can see it. And basically I'm just gonna wear it like this. It's easy. If you put a jacket over it, I think it'll be like really cute because this part will be popping out. Or you can even 
bunch it up a little bit more so you can see both the, the whole print because these are kind of off to the side. And it can look whatever. It doesn't have to look perfect. It's just draped over your shoulders. Very, very easy. Okay. Uh, this next one is also an H&M scarf. This is my blue paisley scarf. I was using it as a tablecloth or end tablecloth for a while, so it's got kind of, I don't know, it's kind of falling apart a little bit, but it still works. So this one is the turtleneck. This is super, super cute and super easy. So again, I'm folding it up in diagonal. And then I'm throwing it over my shoulders. Okay. And I'm bunching it up so there's not so much of a corner sticking out, like a triangle sticking out. Okay. Then I'm going to make this one a little longer than this one. Hide the tag. And I'm going to over. And then Maybe adjust it again, and over again, and then take it to the front, tie, and then hide, tuck it under so you can't see, and it's a turtleneck. It's super, super chic. What is that? And it's a turtleneck, and it'll keep you warm, and it's awesome. It's very cute. Okay. Let me take this off so I don't choke myself. I always manage to choke myself when I'm taking, because I just want to rip them off. Okay. This next one is <clears throat> it's called the One Loop. Oh, okay. great. Maroon and blue square. Maroon and blue square. What are you, maroon and blue square? Square. Okay. I'll come back to that one. Boy Scout. <laughs> okay. Yellow and brown. Dot. Okay, yes. So this is a vintage scarf from my great grandmother. I've already folded it at the diagonal. Okay, flip it over your shoulders. And then you wanna look here and make sure you have that nice little triangle in the back. Okay. So you wanna get as close to your neck as possible without choking yourself and tie yourself a little knot and try to make it flat and hide the the tag Ugh. I don't think I'm gonna hide the tag but I'll just take it out of the shot because you want to look like a boy scout so you gotta make it as flat as you can you don't want it to be like so try to hide the tag on that one. All right. So this next one is European, European loop small. This is a peach. Where are you, maroon and blue squares? Oh, here's the maroon and blue square one. So I'll do that next. Okay. So this I'm calling the European loop small and it's super, super small. This is a vintage scarf. And for this one, I'm going to have to make it into a square. I mean, sorry, this is a square. I'm going to have to make it into a rectangle. Long square. Okay. So I'm going to fold it at the diagonal. And then I'm going to put it on my lap and so you can see what I'm doing. 
And I'm just going to make it long scarf. And you can spend more time and make this look better if you want to. But I'm just going to do it really quickly. Okay. So now it's like a regular winter scarf. Good. So I'm going to do a European loop, which means I'm going to fold it in half, put it over, and then stick this through, tighten it up. No, I don't shine. Just took that off. And that's the European loop small. Super, super freaking easy. But this is like really tight, so it's kind of choky. But be careful. Alright. So. Uh, maroon and blue square vintage scarf. This one, I'm going to do the one loop. This kind of works a little better with a big scarf, but it's fine with this one, too. So I'm folding it at the diagonal, putting it over, okay. And then you want to go to the side, and this should be like right about here between your, your shoulder and the top of your bra. <laughs> um, okay, and then you want to loop this part over. And, okay, this is the tricky part, because it's really slippery, and silky, and short. <laughs> Maybe I should find a different style for this one. I don't know. Uh. <coughs> okay, I'm not going to mess with it anymore. One loop. Make this poofy. Bam. Okay, doesn't have the exact shape that I want, but yeah. Okay. There are new vintage scarves. Okay. Um, this is a fake knot. This is my anchor scarf. Okay. So this is a long. So I mean, if you have a winter scarf, that's thick and chunky. You can also do this, but I'm just using a small, um, really thin scarf. Okay. So, I just want to put it around like so. Okay. And this, you want to turn around your finger and tie it into a knot. And I hope you can see that. It's really hard to show people how to tie a knot, but it's just a knot. Okay, then you take this part and you put it in front. Ooh. You put it in front instead of, you know, having this one in front. I don't know if that makes any sense, but put that in front. <laughs> and you can adjust it. Make sure the knot is not. So you can adjust it and, well, it just gets tighter if you try to, anyways, that's the fake knot. Really, really simple. This one, I'm not even going to bother to untie that. Okay. Um, this next one is the shell roll. I love, love this one. It's so freaking cute. So this is another, this is a leopard scarf. It's long and silky. But you can use a slightly wider scarf and lighter material, whatever. It'll still work for this one. Okay. So this is the shell roll. You want to put it around and make this side short. And I really, oh, does it look better that way or that way? Oh, it's good that way. I really like the shape of this because it just looks really cool after you. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so you want to wrap it around. And then you want to make a loose roll. Like, 
looser than that. Even looser. Loose roll. Very loose roll. And then you want to turn it around and tuck it in the back. Leave this hanging out. Oh, that's super, super cute. Love it. So simple. So chic. Okay. Uh, almost done. <laughs> this is the old lady. This is my jungle scarf. It's my one of my great grandmother's scarves, and it's got it's got jungle animals on it. Okay, but it's got a really weird shape. When I put it, when I put it on, see this and this are facing the same way instead of opposite ways. I don't know. It looks weird to me. So what I did was I just kind of turned it around in the back. It's not that noticeable. And then I take the ends where these little weird corners meet up and tie it. It's graceful, but tie it in, or tie the ends together. And uh, make sure it lays flat. Okay, make sure it lays a little flat. And this is how you wear it. This is the old lady. Old sassy lady. I just imagine my great grandmother wearing her scarf like this. It just looks like an old lady to me. So, <laughs> again, I'm not going to try to do that. Um, so, wow, we're getting close to the end. This one is called the wrap, or classic drape long, whatever you want to call it. And let's see, just to make sure that I'm giving credit. This is a really sheer, long black. If you have one that's thicker, or sorry, um, longer, like wider, it'll probably work a lot better. This I actually wore to my prom, so I don't really know if I'd wear it out in real life, but um, it's really sheer, but it's got these little satiny things at the end. This one, actually this should be in a super hard one. Just kidding. Because all you're going to do is drape it or wrap it around you. And just... It's very like wizardy, gothy, or like Stevie Nicks. Or you can wrap it like that. Oh, I'm so savage. <laughs> Super easy. That's how you're gonna wear it. Okay. <gasps> This next one is super, super easy, but it's so cute. Okay, these ones I got from, well, the scarves themselves. Oh, please don't be in your face. They're so tiny. Oh, oh, oh. Oops. Okay. So, don't tie them. Actually, I'm only using one scarf at a time. This is the shiny gold scarf. My mom bought this for me for Christmas once. It's from Avon. And this style I got from Maria, also known as um, Whispering, Gentle Whispering. She does a lot of ASMR videos, which I just discovered a couple weeks ago. Um, but yeah, she does some scarf tutorials as well. So this one, super easy. So you want to fold it like this, only because you want to make sure it's even in the back. Because you're going to put it over instead of behind you. 
and just have it at your desired length. This is about a little bit past my boobies. And then you want to put that one over and then this one over. So you're like crossing it in the back. Okay. And this one I decided to do under. So all that means is I'm going to take it under and loop it. Under and loop. 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 I made a little too long, actually. Yeah. I'm going to shorten it up a bit so this part is not so long, but I mean, it's super easy, but it still looks really cute. Okay, so this is pretty much the same look, but instead of going under, I'm going to go over. So again, you want to Fold it in half and put it over yourself. And this one I'm gonna make a little shorter. Just like a lay. Like a Hawaiian lay. Over, over. Okay, and this one I said I was gonna do over. So over and loop. Over and loop. Over. Loop. This one tends to be a little tighter for some reason. Or maybe I'm just dumb. Okay. Over and loop. Over and loop. Over and loop. So yeah, these end up being a little longer because it's I seem to want to do a little tighter for this one. But ooh, I'm just gonna get up slightly. It's cute. Okay, we're almost done. This one is going to be called the decoration. I wonder if you can guess what that means. And this scarf I call it my, my Santa scarf. Because it reminds me of the trimming of Santa's suit. Or also a towel. Because it's got really wide ends, which I don't really particularly enjoy. And it kind of looks like a terry cloth towel. But, okay. This one is called the decoration. So this one, it's going to kind of start out like a, like a fake knot. So I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to make a, watch this is wrong. Yeah, this falls apart. Okay. I'm going to make a, not. So there's the knot. Okay. Then I'm going to put a decoration on it. This is actually my sister's, and it's actually a hair thing, but I don't, because I don't really wear stuff like this, but it this combination of silver and white, it kind of reminds me of Christmas. So this is a perfect for Christmas look. And then just like the fake knot, you want to put this other side in like that. And then you can adjust it to however high you want. And this looks really, really cute. And actually, I was experimenting a bit earlier. And it looks super cute if you if you put this over like that. And I'm not really sure what to do with the ends that are going behind there, but you can try to wrap them or tuck them in. And I'm not gonna show you what it looks like in the back because it looks retarded, but, or stupid, sorry. I think this looks super cute, it's so Christmassy. All right, two more, or three more actually. Three more. This one is called the Hidden Knot. And this scarf I'm calling the 
the sparkle chunky. Or speckly chunky. Yeah, speckly chunky. It's not sparkly. But it's got speckles. And it's got a cute little braid effect. Okay. So this one is super easy. Put it behind, loop it around, kind of make these two bottoms even so you want to adjust it. Okay. And then you want to make a knot, but it's not really a knot because it doesn't even have to be that intricate. You can just fold it over or tie it, tie it over. And I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, but it's called the hidden knot, so you need this part to, and don't, please don't choke yourself, you need this part to kind of over, or to unfurl, and to cover it. And it's just, ooh, it's a super, super cute way to wear the scarf. It kind of looks like a cowl neck. And then you've got the little bunny ears coming down. It's just really warm, super cute, and really easy. And I'm definitely going to choke myself trying to get this off. Okay, one more. Well, one more sparkle chunky, or speckly chunky leaves little specks all over me. Okay. Two more, but one scarf. Okay. This scarf. It's from The Gap, and when I first saw it, I thought it was the cat pajamas. It's just, I don't know, it's simple, yet yeah, it's cool, it's stylish, it's black and white. Really reminds me of the 60s. And it was like $40, but it's from The Gap, so what are you going to do? Alright, so this one, I'm going to do the European loop, I guess long, because I did a short one before. So what we're going to do is fold it in half, put it over, and then through the loop, you want to put the whole scarf and just pop. Super easy. If you want to go even easier, what to do is like this. Oh, let's prefer this one. Make this one a little longer and whoop, toss it over. And it looks super cute. It actually used to bug me because it's look, it's like it's rolled up, it doesn't lay flat, but you know, it's fine. No, it doesn't bug me. All right, so that concludes the uh, easy section of the scarf styles. Super easy, quick, and this might be the longest one because most of them are easy, but stay tuned for part two where I go through medium.